I received a question about how to make assembly instructions in a Libre for creating instruction manuals, for instance, of how to assemble things. So let's grab an assembly and work through it. The first topic of this, of course, is exploded views because that gives us a chance to disassemble our assembled assembly. <laughs> I love saying that. So we'll go to exploded view. We're going to edit our exploded view and you can see that everything explodes. But when you're making instructions, of course, you want it to be step by step. So this typical exploded view is not going to be the right format to make instructions with. Let's go through what is. First, I'll exit my exploded view and then I'll go to exploded view up here and choose manual explode. Now you can see that if I click on a face, this little triad appears and I can hold the shift key and I can select things that I wish to explode and then I can select a direction on my triad and drag things out of their exploded way. Here I have an angled face and if I click on the angled face, the triad orients to whatever face that I click on. I'll hold shift again and drag these out, right? And this is how we do exploded views. And then perhaps I can hold shift and I can select the bolts and the bracket and I can say, ah, just like that, I am installing my bracket and then I'm putting my bolts in. And so I'm gonna exit my exploded view. And this is where the problem comes in. Uh, we go to edit our exploded view. And I can even say edit the steps to my exploded view, but they're all as one single explode. I'm not going to be viewing these one step at a time. So how do we get this to be one step at a time? Well, for that, I'll exit my exploded view or delete my exploded view rather and I'll start a new exploded view, this time with the intent to do one step at a time. I'll select manual explode, and again with the shift key held down, I can select my bolts and there's one explode. Now this time, instead of going to the next step, I'm just going to exit my exploded view. And I can say rename, and I can say step one, I can even say or some kind of note, and then I right click and I can duplicate my exploded view. So I go to exit my exploded view, all my previous work is already done. I'll say manual explode, and I'll hold shift, and use my triad to drag my bolts out, and then I'll exit my exploded view. I can rename if I'd like, And then I can duplicate for the next step. And then when I edit this exploded view, I can choose manual explode. Stand on my face, hold shift, and click on the parts that I wish to explode. And we'll exit the exploded view. So I've got three steps and I have the separate exploded view if I wish to just retain the whole previous view that I've made. But here I have divvied this up into individual steps and I can continue this process for the entire chair if I wish. But how do we make the uh, visualized instructions of all these parts coming together? For that, I'll go make sure that I save this. And we'll say send to make drawing. We can fill in our sheet information and metadata here if we'd like. And then we can go to our view import screen here. I'd like to undo my top front and right views and to get a good view of the bracket I'll choose this uh, isometric view down here. I like the standard option. I also like the options here. So I can go to my exploded views and choose say my first step. Now, I may also wish to start with the bracket install so that I'm going in the order of putting it together instead of taking it apart, whichever uh, makes the most sense for how you're going to think through it. I'll start with step three and we'll say okay. So there is our chair and our bracket that is not quite yet installed. But you'll notice that my bolts are not relevant here. And that's an easy thing to do. 
I can always select my view and choose show part trails. And I can toggle that if I don't wish to have part trails. Now, if you're not seeing your assembly or parts in the Design Explorer, simply choose Show in Design Explorer to show them. I also can come down in here, find my bolts, And with all my bolts, I can choose to hide them. And there, I still have the part trails for the parts that are showing, but my part trails for my bolts are hidden. So you can see a little trail for the bracket of where it's going to be installed. I also have the option uh, to be able to obscure parts of this view. For instance, I've, I'm looking at the base of the chair and the back of the chair, and it just seems like a lot to look at. So we'll go to... Sheets and Views, I'll choose Partial and select my view. And when I do that, a sketch pops up. So I'll grab a spline, or I can choose a rectangle or a circle or whatever shape that I would like. Splines with their kind of organic geometry gives a nice sense that things have been cut out. And I draw a spline around what I want to show. Sheets and Views, Partial, and I can select my spline as something that will cut out anything that I don't wish to have. So that might be an easier thing to look at in a lot of cases when we're making instructions for parts. You can also go to my drawing management and add a note. I might say install bracket or something like that and apply. Then I can go on to my next step, which may be on a new sheet. Of course, if I wish to insert a new sheet, we'll say new right here. Also, I didn't uh, mention this, but I can uh, change my kind of sheet that I'm inserting if I'd like to be for sheet two, if I wish to have a different format. And also we have a video up on how to make custom sheet uh, templates. So that might be worth looking at as well. If you would like to have a custom template for assembly instructions, instead of more of an engineering drawing looking template like this. All right, now we can insert our next view. So we'll go to Sheets and Views. We're going to say Standard right here. This time, instead of Default, I'll go to Step 2. Undo my front, top, and right views. Go to my isometric view that I like. And I'll say OK. And there we are, showing that the bolts are being installed once the bracket is in place. And I can say Partial just to show variety, right? I can show how easy it is to just put a rectangle around what you wish to show. Deactivate the sketch. Sheets and views again, we'll go partial and select the rectangle. Just like that, we've trimmed it out and we can make another note, install bolts. And if I wish to do another view on the same sheet, right? I just go back to standard. Under exploded views, we're gonna say back bolts. Top, front, and right will be undone. I'll go back to that uh, isometric view that I like so much. And we're going to say OK. And then there is uh, part of the bolts being installed into the base. So we can divvy this up into however many steps that we want or however few steps that we want. Obviously, if I don't like this view, I can just hit delete and say I want to show all the bolts being installed all at the same time because it's a pretty simple step to go from here to installed. In that case, I can just do my default view and insert that. And there's all the bolts being installed all at the same time, if that's more preferable. Now I, I can always navigate between my sheet views simply by clicking on New Sheet 1 and New Sheet 2. Now, on New Sheet 1, this is quite small. We can always, of course, uh, click in our view area and change the scale. Maybe I want 1 to 5 or something like that. So there we can resize, annotate, uh, cut out all the views. And that's also how we can get step-by-step -step explodes to show things uh, going together. We can also hide components that we don't wish to be there to make the instructions extra clear. 
I uh, hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to the Libra channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.